Speaking in the National Assembly, Nekundi said the ministry is working to finalise the project by the end of November, ahead of the contractual deadline. The dedication phase has revealed that while most panels have sustained damage from years of service and environmental exposure, exposure certain tanks remain serviceable. Some copper pipes have experienced natural deterioration, though the tanks continue to function adequately. All compromised solar panels have been successfully removed from the main building, nurses home and kitchen area and have been properly transferred to the Ministry of Health and Social Services official for appropriate disposal. The modification works for the solar panels are currently advancing in phases with completion targeted across the main building, the west wing and the main building east wing, the kitchen and the nurses home facility. Regarding the installation of heat pumps for the kitchen and nurses' home areas, I can confirm that the necessary heat pumps have been procured and are expected to be delivered this month. Similarly, the installation of cages and the ducking to manage the cold air distribution is proceeding as planned with completion anticipated by the end of October. This investment in sustainable energy infrastructure align with our national development priorities and our commitment to environmental stewardship. Nekundi said the site instruction book is maintained in triplicate to ensure transparency and accountability during implementation. He also expressed appreciation to the technical teams from the Ministries of Works and Transport and Health and Social Services, as well as for the contractor for their cooperation on the project. Nekundi added that regular progress updates will be provided on the hospital project and other infrastructure projects under the ministry.